Hi everyone, in Anthropology Lecture Series for Paper 2, today we are going to discuss Topic 7.3. So let's begin. See, as I promised, I am here with the next video. And uh, let us just see that what are the things that you need to study in your Topic 7.3. So basically here you need to understand the concept of ethnicity which we are going to do in the part 1. We'll do an elaborate discussion upon it. That is why I have uh, kept it as part 1. Apart from this, I will try to cover the rest of the part maybe in part 2. Seeing upon if it happens in one part or not. Otherwise, I will further bifurcate into part 3. Okay? So, aaj ke liye hamara focus ethnicity ke upar rahega. Now, when I say West Asian, inko sunke, what is the first thing that comes to your mind? Kaun si geographical location mein rehte hai? There is certain identity of these people. Even African, when I say, in se related, you call out some identity. Even Indian, you think about certain set of people, right? So, all these things which you are already thinking in your mind is nothing but ethnicity. So basically, in simple language, when we talk about ethnicity, ki, to it is that group of people who are related to each other through common culture, historical significance, political or any such things. There is a different different definitions being given, but overall, the crux is, that is this, कि वो एक certain common चीजों को share करते हैं, basically अपनी identity, cultural identity को लेके, we call them ethnic group, ठीक है, और that is the identity ethnicity. Now, when I say culture, so culture एक set of लोगों का अलग-अलग हो सकता है, then culture किसका part है? It's a part of an heritage, like Indian heritage जब हम बात करते हैं उसके अंदर भी आपको अलग अलग cultures देखने को मिलते हैं then when we talk about nationality like for example Indian nationality के अंदर आपको Indian heritage मिलेगा and Indian heritage के अंदर आपको अलग अलग cultures देखने को मिलेंगे right then इस nationality के ऊपर आता है ethnicity और इन सब से भी ऊपर आता है race so basically जब हम race की बात करते हैं तो that you can understand with some physical attributes. In the race case, you have to see certain physical attributes which can be different, right? And in this case, we have studied in 9.5 paper 1. Then, ethnicity, when you talk about like how ethnicity is different from race. So, ethnicity, you just don't consider the physical attributes. Okay? Here, we don't just physical attributes about physical attributes. Other than that. But when you talk about race, we have to physical attribute ko zyada value karte hai, hai? Which is why you can see ki ethnicity is a subset of race. Race is not a subset of ethnicity. I hope the things are clear. Then, ethnicity or nationality. Humne yahaan pe bhi dekha ki nationality ethnicity ke niche aegi. Kyu? Because nationality jo hai, wo ek legal or political membership hai. Aapki nationality kaise define hoti hai? आपकी nationality define होती है कि आप किस country के नागरिक है आपने वहाँ के कुछ documents है होंगे आपके पास which makes you nationality of that particular country ठीक है then ethnicity के case में ऐसा नहीं होता है ethnicity के case में आपके पास कोई passport हो या ना हो उस country का कोई other documents हो ना हो if you share certain cultural or historical identity you are part of that ethnicity Alright, if you think about it from your IR perspective, so you will find at present in our world, there are various different ethnic identity. And in ethnic identity, there are many conflicts and there are many wars. Even currently also, if you see Israel-Palestine, there is an angle of ethnicity here. And I would suggest to you, if you just want to get some insights of this ethnicity, you can just go and read about that Israel-Palestine issue as well. There will be a lot of ethnicity in there. Here I have not dwelled into that, considering that whatever you are preparing in this year 2023, 
you people are already following that so i just need not to go over there you can give the reference in your answer whenever you are, you are writing but yeah just make sure ki aap us angle se bhi ethnicity angle se bhi israel palestine conflict ko dekho here you can see like various scholars have given different different definitions of ethnicity you can choose any of these for your understanding and for writing purpose so agar aap yahan pe in definitions ko break down karoge so you will find ki ethnicity kya hai it's the process of formation and reformation of consciousness of identity in terms of one or more socio cultural political symbol of domination of a group or a community by another that emerge out of the process of assimilation acculturation interaction competition and conflict so basically itna lamba chauda definition padhne ka purpose ye tha ki jab kabhi bhi hum ethnicity ki baat karte to aisa nahi hai ki ethnicity koi ek इंसान लाइक बाई बॉर्न लाइक और बाई बर्थ उसकी एथनिसिटी डिफाइन हो गई है हो सकता है विद द प्रोसेस डिपेंडिंग अपॉन लाइक वे दे दोज पर्सन आर कमिंग इन कॉन्टैक्ट विद अदर्स उनका कल्चरल एसिमिलेशन कैसा हुआ है वो उन्होंने किस तरह के माहौल में वो रहे हैं डिपेंडिंग अपॉन ऑल दोज थिंग्स एक एथनिसिटी डिफाइन होती है बट दिस टेक्स जेनरेशन्स ऐसा नहीं है कि आप अपनी एथनिसिटी लाइक विद इन टू ईयर्स वन ईयर्स चेंज कर सकते हो इट टेक्स जनरेशन्स अच्छा खासा लंबा चौड़ा टाइम लगता है इसके अंदर ठीक है देन वहीं आप दूसरे डेफिनेशन्स को देखोगे तो ये थोड़ा सिंपल डेफिनेशन है विद से इसकी जहाँ पे वो कॉमन हिस्ट्री ट्रेडिशन लैंग्वेज या लाइफ शेयर करते हैं देन अगेन इन सारी चीज़ों को जो कॉमनैलिटीज हैं जो आप शेयर करते हो अपने आस के लोगों से या एक सर्टन ग्रुप में ये इनमें भी टाइम टू टाइम कुछ चेंजेस आते हैं कुछ चीज़ें बदलती हैं कुछ चीज़ें सेम टू सेम रहती हैं तो इट्स अ ऑन गोइंग प्रोसेस यू कुछ से बट एट अ पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम इट्स सॉलिडिफाई इनटू समथिंग वेरी सब्सटेंशियल ठीक है उसी तरह से मैक्स वीबर ने भी कुछ डेफिनेशंस दिए थे ऑफ एथनिसिटी दैट यू कैन सी विल डिस्कस दिस इन डिटेल वैन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द वेरियस अप्रोच रिलेटेड टू एथनिसिटी और एंड यू कैन पिक आउट एनी ऑफ द डेफिनेशन फ्रॉम दिस for you to write down in your exam although this information is not required in this video because as you can see it's talking about the types of the ethnic conflict so paul brass basically unhone ethnic movement ke types define kiye the and there is further classification of the ethnic conflicts by the tribals jiske andar reactionary conservative or revolutionary hai why i'm saying that we don't require this particular thing right now and i am just giving you for reference बिकॉज अगर आप देखोगे सिलेबस के अंदर वी हैव टू स्टडी द एथनिक कॉन्फ्लिक्ट एंड पोलिटिकल डेवलपमेंट एंड अनरेस्ट अमंग द ट्राइबल कम्युनिटीज ऑल्सो विच आई टोल्ड यू विल बी कवरिंग इन द नेक्स्ट पार्ट तो उस टाइम पे आपको ये वाली इन्फॉर्मेशन काम आएगी सो नाउ सिंस वी आर स्टडिंग एंथ्रोपोलॉजी तो एंथ्रोपोलॉजिकल परस्पेक्टिव बहुत जरूरी हो जाता है विच इज़ वाई विल स्टडी अबाउट फ्यू ऑफ द परस्पेक्टिव एंथ्रोपोलॉजिकल परस्पेक्टिव और अप्रोचेज अबाउट एथनिसिटी so here i have listed like six of them and will try to explore those in much detail which are like more important although hum sare ke sare six approaches ko dekhenge kuch ko briefly dekhenge kuch ko detail mein dekhenge sabse pehla hai your pre modulist approach which was given by clifford twitch and others of course matlab he was not like one of the person who gave it it's an approach so basically many of the people contributed it at that point of time इस अप्रोच के अंदर एथनिसिटी क्या है और लाइक हाउ इट गेट्स फॉर्म एंड हाउ इट अक्वायर्स शेप सो बेसिकली इनका मानना था दैट एथनिसिटी है दिस इज समथिंग इन नेट फिक्स्ड एंड अ डीपली इनग्रेड फैक्टर सो बेसिकली इनका ये कहना था कि हमने अभी जस्ट थोड़ी देर पहले एक डेफिनेशन के अंदर देखा था इन विच देर वॉज मैंशनिंग ऑफ एसिमिलेशन ए कल्चरेशन उनके वजह से भी एथनिक फॉर्मेशन होती है एथनिसिटी की फॉर्मेशन होती है बट दिस अप्रोच कम्प्लीटली डिनाइज दैट इनका मानना है कि ये चीज़ें कभी बदली नहीं जा सकती इट फॉर्म्स थ्रू जनरेशन एंड कैरी फॉरवर्ड थ्रू जनरेशन उसमें कोई भी चेंज नहीं आता है इट रिमेन स्टेबल एंड फिक्सड सर्टन फीचर्स हैं इसके बायोलॉजिकल एंड एंसेस्ट्रल फैक्टर्स इनका मानना है 
कि जो किनशिप्स होते हैं उनसे एथनिसिटी डिफाइन होती है और आगे भी उन्हीं से बढ़ती है इसमें कोई चेंज नहीं आता है कल्चरल कंटिन्यूटी होती है यानी कि अगर कोई एक पर्टिकुलर कल्चरल प्रैक्टिस एक सर्टन ग्रुप करता है एथनिक ग्रुप करता है देन दैट विल कीप ऑन कंटिन्यूइंग टिल द नेक्स्ट जनरेशन एंड द अदर्स उसमें भी कोई चेंज नहीं आएगा स्टेटस को मेंटेन रहेगा इमोशनल एंड साइकोलॉजिकल अटैचमेंट्स इनका एथनिसिटी से मानना है कि एथनिसिटी समथिंग वेरी डीप रूटेड एंड इट हैज लॉट ऑफ सिग्निफिकेंसेस दैट टू इमोशनली एंड साइकोलॉजिकली एज वेल रेजिस्टेंस टू चेंज जब हमने बात कर ली है कि इन्होंने इनको फिक्स्ड बता दिया है विच मीन्स कि आप इसके अंदर कोई चेंज नहीं ला सकते इन अ समरी इफ यू हैव टू राइट अबाउट द प्री मॉडियलिस्ट अप्रोच सो दिस इज समथिंग दैट कंसीडर एथनिसिटी एक्ट एज अ फिक्सड इन नेट थिंग विच इज कैरीड फॉरवर्ड बाय अ जनरेशन एंड डज नॉट चेंज एट ऑल ओके आई होप द समरी इज क्लियर टू यू देन अपोजिट टू योर फर्स्ट अप्रोच यू हैव द मॉडर्निस्ट और डेवलपमेंट अप्रोच ऑल्सो समटाइम्स कॉल्ड एज देन वॉट इट इज एज आई टोल्ड यू इट्स लाइक कम्प्लीटली अपोजिट टू दिस प्री मॉडलिस्ट अप्रोच तो प्री मॉडलिस्ट अप्रोच में दे हैव सेट लाइक इट इज समथिंग फिक्स इन एट कैरी ऑन फॉरवर्ड बाई जनरेशन बट ह्योर द मॉडर्निस्ट अप्रोच से इज इट्स नथिंग लाइक दैट यहाँ पे इनका मानना है कि एथनिसिटी फॉर्मेशन की वजह मॉडर्नाइजेशन और नेशन बिल्डिंग प्रोसेस भी हो सकती है and it is not something that the ethnicity remains unchanged it can change depending upon the circumstances and yahan pe example aap jharkhand movement ka le sakte ho where when the people realize that in the reason they are being exploited they form a different ethnic group and started uh, revolting against the power okay and even before the independence if you can see there was munda revolt and there was santhal revolt all of these are being uh, taken into consideration while framing this modernist approach they have given certain features of uh, the uh, ethnicity inka manna hai that this is a social construction which means ki jaise jaise society shape hoti hai jaise jaise political dynamics change hote hain us tarah se ethnicity mein bhi badlav aata hai of course it takes time but it's not something that cannot be changed right उसी तरह से इन्होंने अलग अलग फीचर्स भी बताए हैं आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू लाइक गिव डिटेल इन टू डेथ बिकॉज आई हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट द समरी ऑफ दिस अप्रोच बट इन एग्जामिनेशन वेन यू आर राइटिंग अबाउट लाइक एनी ऑफ दिस अप्रोच इधर डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द मार्क्स दैट द क्वेश्चन कैरीज यू कैन इधर समराइज दिस और अगर आपसे डिपेंडिंग अपॉन की दो अप्रोचेस पूछे जाते हैं एंड देन यू कैन गिव सच अ डिटेल ओके then the other approach is your marxist or the neo marxist approach so basically in this approach it is said the next is your marxist or the neo marxist approach so under this approach it is felt that ki jo aapke ethnic uh, ग्रुप्स होते हैं दे इमर्जेस बिकॉज एट अ सर्टन पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम सम ऑफ द ग्रुप फेल्ट दैट दे आर बींग सबॉर्डिनेटेड बाय द अदर ग्रुप एंड टू प्रोटेक्ट दैट दे हैव फॉर्म देयर ओन सेपरेट एथनिक आइडेंटिटी वन ऑफ द एग्जांपल कैन बी गोरखा लैंड और बोडो लैंड बिकॉज दे माइट फील इंटिमिडेटेड बाय द एक्स वाई जेड आउटसाइडर्स विच इज वाई दे वॉन्टेड टू फॉर्म देयर ओन सर्टन एथनिक ग्रुप देन विबीरियन अप्रोच ऑल दो दैट्स नॉट रियली इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द एंथ्रोपोलॉजिकल परस्पेक्टिव बिकॉज मैक्स वीबर ने दिया था एंड इट्स मोर रिलेटेड टू द पॉलिटिकल एंड द इकोनॉमिक एंगल्स बट येट आई टेल यू इन ब्रीफ इनका मानना था दैट एथनिक एंगल जो आता है दैट इज ओनली बिकॉज देर इज अ सर्टन ग्रुप ऑफ पीपल हु वॉन्टेड टू फैसिलिटेट सर्टन कॉमन इंटरेस्ट इसका एग्जाम्पल आप ऐसे समझ सकते हो फॉर एग्जाम्पल नेल्सन मंडेला की पार्टी लाइक टू फाइट फॉर द अपार्थाइड देर वॉज अ सर्टन इंटरेस्ट बाई विच दैट पोलिटिकल पार्टी वॉज फॉर्म the conservatives they are formed with a certain uh, political agenda the people having same political agenda the republican they have the same political agenda same goes with our indian political organizations also unke bhi apne alag alag separate kuch interest hote hain because of which certain section of people come together and they form a certain group so max weber ka manna tha ki ethnicity wagera kuch nahi hoti ye hota hai political interest theek hai jiski wajah se ek certain section of people 
have this certain identity. Clearest approach का मानना था कि जो society है अलग अलग society आपस में जो अलग अलग तरह के लोग होते हैं वो मिल के रहते हैं but they do not intermix with each other and they hold their own separate identity. For example, जब हम बात करते हैं pre-colonial era की उस time पे we have seen Santhal, Munda, all such kind of rebellion and I, we have already discussed like how this was a form of an ethnic uh, group. But here in the pluralist approach it says that there might be certain different different political or so different different uh, ethnic groups sorry not political groups so that ethnic group can stay together at a certain point of time and this is the pluralist approach ki zaruri nahi hai ki ek certain jo ethnic group hai wo bilkul isolated ho ke hi rahega dusre group se aisa zaruri nahi hai it may happen like different different ethnic group can stay together but yet remain uh, like unique to each other all right now we have the instrumentalist approach to ethnicity. So instrumentalist approach ki jab baat aati hai, so you need to remember about the Frederick Bath and the Paul Brass. Although I don't feel like he, uh, UPSC aap se in immediate future as a put sakta hai ki Frederick Bath ya Paul Brass ne ethnicity ko leke kya kaha tha. But in case, agar pooch le, and even if they don't ask you when you're writing about the ethnicity, you could mention about it, right? So because of which it becomes very important. And the another name for this instrumentalist approach is situationalist perspective. Dono hi naam se ko jante So let's delve into detail like what it means. The plasticity which means they said ki ethnic group aisa nahi hai ki fixed hai, innate hai. It can be changed. And what both of them has to think about it, we'll see that individually. Jab aap Paul Brass ki baat kare, so he is more of a thought process of the Weberian approach in which the Weber said that the uh, ethnicity or the ethnic group are nothing but something based out of the political interest. Inka bhi manna tha, more or less, that these are based upon the political interest and political myths. Ethnic group is tarikhe se shape hote hai. It's something different than the pre modulist approach. Jinka manna tha, it comes with the generation, culture same hota hai and it is being carried forward. So inka manna tha, aisa kuch nahi hota hai. Hai? This is the crux of it. And if you have to mention about him, you can mention about his book and all. I'm not going to read like line by line for you. You can just make a note out of it, okay? Then Frederick Bath. So Frederick Bath is like known or famous for ethnic group and boundaries. Agar UPSC aap se question poochhega to is basis pe pooch sakta hai. Ethnic group and boundaries by Frederick Bath. 10 mark simply. So I'll tell you what you have to write over there. Again, Frederick Bath is completely differing from the pre-modialist perspective. Pre-modialist perspective kya tha, hum kahi baari baat kar chuke hai. Inka bhi wahi manna tha ki ye wala jo approach hai, ki carry forward hota hai, change nahi ho sakta hai, aisa kuch nahi hota hai, thik hai? Your ethnic boundaries are not fixed. It keeps on changing. Depend karta hai ki aap kis se interact kar rahe ho, aap kaise influence ho rahe ho. Depending upon that, it takes shape. Alright? Ethnic boundaries inka manna tha ki uh, kisi bhi ek group hai, wo create kar raha hai according to their socio, cultural, economic and political things and it's very flexible in nature. Something what Paul Brass has said, something what the other people are saying apart from the pre-modialist, unka manna completely different tha. Inke hisaab se ethnic group zaruri nahi hai ki ek homogeneous group ho because jab bhi hum baat karte ethnic group ki ya ethnicity ki Zada dar hame lagta hai ki, okay, everybody is thinking on the same line, everybody is having the same culture, everything, ditto, sab kuch same to same hai. But inka kehna ta, aisa nahi hai. Ho sakta hai, unke certain interest ho, most of the interest ho, but it's not that they should be 100% alike. Then, role of individual agencies. Inka ye manna tha ki, individual agencies jo hote hai, kuch influence play karte hai. Abhi individual agencies koon hoti hai, ye koi bhi ho sakti hai. Ye political bhi ho sakti hai, social bhi ho sakti hai, economic bhi ho sakti hai. So inka bhi ethnicity ko form karne mein bhoat bada role hota hai. For example, agar hum individual ki baat kare, then Santhal movement ho, ya aapki Munda rebellion ho, is mein bhi there were certain key people, right? Unka bhoat important role tha us particular group ko or us particular ethnicity ko form karne mein. They have played a great uh, in, like role, they had a great impact. 
so this is what he is trying to explain through his ethnic groups and boundary i hope it is very clear to you and there was a question in this year's upsc in which they asked about the ethnicity and the ethnic identity so when we discussed about the ethnicity we have discussed that in detail and when you say ethnic identity to wo ek individual perspective se aap dekh sakte ho in which an individual tries to identify himself or herself to certain ethnic group and when we say ethnicity so it's a more broader concept and when you say uh, the uh, ethnic identity it is something related to the individual perspective okay so that is the actual difference and of course you can make a big answer out of it and with this we have finished this first part thank you so much